Like these sheep, they were up there. Look, they're, still, they're all coming to run in to greet me. Look. Isn't this lovely? Hello. Hello, sheepies. You think I've got food for you, do you? Look at them all coming running. Look, there's more up there. They're all coming to see me. Look at them. You're beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Is she peace? Hello, darling. Why oh, aren't you so trusting, aren't you? I'm glad you're not bloody cow, I don't tell you that. You're so trusting. You're going to follow me up the other end? Are you? Get him wagging his tail. It's almost like a dog. That one there. You need cheering, don't he? Or are you being fattened up? Ain't got nothing to eat. No. Can't have human food. It's bad for you. It's bad for me. You following? Look, they're going to follow me. Look. Now see, if that was a pack of cows, I'd be petrified. See? If that was a pack of cows, I'd be petrified. Look at They want to follow me up the other end. You're beautiful. Come to greet me at the gate like that. It was lovely, that was. That's the handy thing about having a camera. You can record all these moments. <coughs> beautiful countryside, Somerset is. Whole of England's good, to be quite honest. And yet when you look round, look at them two go. Look, they're like we're in the Grand National. Go on, yay! And them. They all want to go up the other end. Yeah. Well, you plump things, aren't you? You'll be on someone's plate soon, you lot will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's two left. Now they're going to be scared. They're going to be thinking, where are the others? What are we going to do? He says to his partner. This human's coming. This human. That was so nice. They look so friendly. I love sheep. We love them. They're keeping doing I'm not going to threaten them at all. I've just got to remember the way. It changes all the time, this pup root. I don't think I'd go down there. Now, if I was new to this, I'd think I'd have to go down there. Whereas normally it's over this way, so I'm going to, I'm going to go where I normally go. I'm going to go where I normally go. Look, they're slowly following, look. They got the leader, look. They're slowly following. Normally I go over in this corner here, but I see there's various gates up. Now if there's a field of cows, and they did that to me, I'll be, I'll be literally petrified. Not in the past, but I, I'm not... I'm not for most of my life, but since I was chased, I've got a big fear of them. Now that is getting breezy, that's the tide coming in. I haven't had any of this. Forgot I live at the seaside. I'll have to put my jumper on. I've got a coat as well. You have to come prepared, you know, when you come out. Now I'm heading for this corner. Because this is the way I've always come. I've always come this way, so I'm going over here. Are they following? They're sneaking up around the back. Look at that view, everyone. Look at that view. Isn't that beautiful? This is such a beautiful day. I think spring is so refreshing. You know, I really think it is. 
I'm going over here. I'm not sure if I've got to go here or whether I've got to go in the gate over there. We just go where we always used to. I've got no idea until I get over here. So there used to be a little bridge, but things change. Things do change. It looks all very overgrown, but we'll soon find out, Sheila. We'll soon find out, darling. There was no, it wasn't, it doesn't really tell you, you know, when you, about this, this place. It's something you find out with experience. You know what I mean? Right, I'm going to turn off now, take pictures. Right, I've just left the sheep field and walking through a narrow track, which is a public footpath. But basically, not many people know about it or even come this way. And they don't make it known that much. Now, if, you, if we zoom in here, I was right up there. There's that lovely property on the top of the hill that own the orchards and stuff up there. And I was right up there. I came down across, down the side of that field right up there not long ago. And then we've got all the orchards, look. All in blossom. It's a lovely view, that. And so then we carry on this little pathway. And we should come to a bridge, but I'm not saying there still is a bridge. Um, and we don't know whether we're going to encounter cows yet. That's another problem I've got to face later. Um, there weren't a lot of cows um, last time I came, but that could have been the time of year. Or it could be that sometimes they have, like, they don't have um, cows out much. Here's a little uh, reed bed area. Little gate. Looks. They did put a lot of new gates on for this uh, part of the walk, actually. And it is signposted on that pillar there as well. So that's good. There's some signposting for people because you can get you can get very anxious when you don't know where you're going. There's Brent Knoll. And now we've got a lovely little stroll through a couple of fields. Heading for Bleeden now, that's the... Now, I feel sorry for Bleeden Church, because I either get there too late, which is true now, or I've run out of film normally, time I get to Bleeden. That's why I keep saying I should do it in reverse. But, so this is one of my big hikes, really. And don't forget, I didn't, I took shortcuts, I didn't do the peak. Um, I don't always do the peak, it's true. But most of the time, I do. But today it didn't matter, because I was exploring the other side of the peak. And as you know, I should have perhaps gone inside one of the uh, stiles to pick up a track that would have taken me through the wood. Uh, and in the end, I ended up, um, where did I end up? God, this is all getting overgrown, isn't it? I ended up on the, having to go on a B road. I'm not quite sure where we're going. We just follow this, we just walk over this for a minute. A lot of it gets overgrown and you don't know where you are. There's a lovely picture of Brent Knoll though, look. Just zoom in again. My reference points, anyone who follows my walks, I constantly refer to Crook's Peak, Brent Knoll, Glastonbury Tour, Steep Home and Bring Down. Those are like big, big reference points for me in in Somerset and and they, they, they these things I can see from most it, when I'm up high I can see most of them a, quite a lot of the time now when you get here and you come out of that gate there's no real arrow telling you where to go or anything I mean for all I know there's probably a walk over there where the river is the river's over there there are probably walks there that I haven't even explored yet. Do you know what I mean? There's so much that I haven't I haven't done yet. <sighs> I 
but you need the light uh, for this particular walk today you do need the light evenings you really do need them because um it is a, it's a long walk i mean i'm taking i'm i'm slow slower than ever we're just turning off a minute to take a picture of that